Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. Which is translated, sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, Is not this he who sat and begged? This is he. Others said, He is like him. I am he. How were your eyes opened? A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and I received sight. Where is he? I do not know. They brought him who formerly was blind to the Pharisees. Now it was a Sabbath when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight. He put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and I see. This man is not from God, because he does not keep the Sabbath. How can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. They said to the blind man again, What do you say about him, because he opened your eyes? He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight, until they called the parents of him who had received his sight, and he asked them, saying, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he now sees, we do not know, or who opened his eyes, we do not know. He is of age. Ask him. He will speak for himself. His parents said these things because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if anyone confessed that he was Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, He is of age. Ask him. So they again called the man who was blind. Give God the glory. We know that this man is a sinner. Whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? I told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Then they reviled him. You are his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spoke to Moses. As for this fellow, we do not know where he is from. Why? This is a marvelous thing, that you do not know where he is from. Yet he has opened my eyes. Now we know that God does not hear sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, he hears him. Since the world began, it has been unheard of that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. You were completely born in sins, and are you teaching us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. For judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who see may be made blind. Then some of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words. Are we blind also? If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, we see. 
therefore your sin remains. 